Thank you very much to the Roosevelt High Choir. Thank you very much. And happy World Children's Day. So ladies and gentlemen, we're near the end of the formalities this evening and we are here for the main attraction. What is beneath that silky blue fabric? Not a cow. So, it's a depiction of a child. And you'll see it now, and it's a child named Hope. And I'm going to talk about it a little bit briefly now because once it's unveiled, nobody will be listening to me. So, her name is Hope, and she embodies exactly that. Hope, optimism for the future, a better future. And credit really goes to Grey Advertising, and we will acknowledge them afterwards as well, whose brainchild this was. And they arranged it. And there's a statue that will be next to the iconic father of the nation, somebody who embodied love and care for children, Nelson Holiklafla Mandela. So Hope will be a fixture here for a while, and we inaugurate her existence on World Children's Day. So can I invite the head of sure, UNICEF South cool. Africa, the country representative, Hervé Ludovic Delis, to unveil Hope with the support of our greater supporters here. Thank you. Countdown, Yvonne says a countdown. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Thank you and welcome Hope and happy World Children's Day. And I call Bay to say a few words. Oh, after the photo moment. So just to tell you the statue has been unveiled today on the 20th of November. Please spread the word. She was placed here because she looks up, she mimics the dance of Nelson Mandela. She looks to him as the father of the nation and somebody that has made the South Africa of today better for her as a child than the South Africa of the past. And who knows what they're talking about. Thank you. Paparazzi moment's over. We're good. The closest I've ever got to an Oscar moment, ever. <laughs> 